Hey everybody, this is Dave, and I am the old man on a bike. And I'm out here on a, uh, it looks like a cloudy day, but it's not cloudy. It's actually very clear, not a lot of clouds in the sky. It's just smoke. Smoke from our friends up in Canada. They've got these wildfires going on in Quebec. And it's just making the visibility horrible. And it's driven all sorts of uh, health emergency alerts. And people with asthma and other issues with their lungs aren't supposed to be outside doing anything. And I'm going for a ride uh, up a hill and uh, into a state forest. And I'm taking you along with me. And hopefully we'll see some uh, good sights in this strange light that we've got going here. And uh, beautiful lake out here, uh, Cedar Lake in Chester. And uh, we're going to see some, uh, some neat sights today. Uh, some of you have seen them before if you watch my videos, but this is one of my favorite routes. So, get ready to climb a hill, get ready to go down into the fire roads of Contapanza State Forest, and here we go. Well, we've got some of that dappled light coming through the smoke, and uh, I don't know what it's going to look like on camera, but it's got a slight pink a shoe to the light. We're riding out of Chester, Connecticut on uh, Route 148 and we've got a, a hill here that's about a 9% grade. So I'm looking forward to uh, breathing real hard as I go up the hill and ingesting all of the smoke. So it won't be that bad, I hope. My lungs are in fairly good shape. This is Masonic Care at Chester Village. I just wanted to bring you in here for a quick little tour. This gives me inspiration to keep riding my bike. So I don't end up in a uh, assisted living facility. Even though this is beautiful, it's uh, it's not my lifestyle. But it is what it is, when it is, when it happens. I guess that's how you can. Put it. Hopefully, I won't be darkening these doors for a number of years. Right turn on the Parker Hill. Compared to what I just went up, this is a small hill. And uh, I'm taking you up here so we can uh, take a peek at the stone walls. We've seen them on other videos that I've done, but I've never approached it from this direction. So we'll get a, we'll get a different view. Well, well, well. The old garbage truck. At least once a year I stop by this structure, an old house. It's got a vine growing up in that window. This place intrigues me. It's got first-class cedar shakes on it. It's got stained glass windows. And it's right next to a big old barn. Very Connecticut-like. Stone walls really enamor me. And this stone wall is, is new. It's just uh, been reconstructed. And it's actually in the process. Stonemason looking for just the right rock. Here's some of the dappled sunlight that I talked to you about coming through the trees. There's really not a cloud in the sky, but it's completely overcast. All smoke and duck eggs for five dollars. Look out. Like 
And here comes the racer. Well, give you a little weather report. It's cool, overcast with smoke, and uh, having a nice, actually a nice pleasant ride. I'm a little upset, this area right here has been completely mowed. And as this is one of my favorite routes, it's, uh, it's where during blackberry season, they're big, fat, and ripe. And boy, does that go nicely when you're out for a bike ride in the middle of the summer. I, I actually don't think they're blackberries. I think they're black raspberries. But uh, whatever they were, they were nice. Now we're coming up to the stone wall section. A local guy in Chester built some stone walls. all over the place. This is a uh, large horse farm. I don't have any history on it at all except the, the entire top of this mountain was bought up by someone with a lot of money who built a lot of stone walls. <laughs> and they're beautiful stone walls. I mean, here's, here's an entrance gate. I'll take you in here. Gorgeous. And that, that what you see over there on the other side of that tree is a bridle path for running their horses around the property, known as Turnbridge. Okay, now this is uh, intended for you to see the stone wall, but also look beyond the stone wall and look at the visibility. Those trees over there in the distance, if you can even see them, are shrouded in gray smoke. And that sky that you see, if it weren't for the smoke, it would be a baby, a baby bluebird blue sky or whatever, however they say it. And it would be gorgeous. Car back. I take you up here and uh, go look at this gate. And see if we can look at the property a little bit. Well, they named it Paddock Farm. Yes, indeedy. These walls are, I mean, these stuff, they're perfect. They're crazy. Crazy. I love it. But it's on a gloomy, smoky day that we get to look at these things. And they look different in their own sort of a way. Last of the stone walls, I promise but I wanted to show you this gate. Wrought iron, artwork, that's for sure. Well, I just had a sneezing fit and the back of my throat is sore. So I'm thinking this is uh, what they say it is. Totally unhealthy to be out here in the smoke. So I'm running through my mind a shorter way to get back to the car. But an interesting way so that I can show you some of the highlights of 
Back to Ponset State Forest. So I think I'll take a, uh, I think I'll take a ride down a very, very steep hill, which I wasn't going to do. And we can then get right into the forest. That's coming right up. So, see you in a bit.